Hello, this is Vulturefire, and today I'm planning to do a quick play Drothus run. So it occurred to me I haven't recorded uh, any runs on Drothus on this patch, and a while back somebody requested that I record more quick play runs, so I figured I would do that. So the most important note here is we have more max mana, which is especially nice on Drothus, who has so little and likes having mana so much. Um, and also the Adaflex Converter is nice just for more energy, more uh, items. So yeah, because we only have six max mana normally, bumping that to 10 is very nice. And here we go. So because this is quick play, we get two card choices and then two removals right off the bat. Uh, Restorative Shield is amazing. Look at the starting deck because it's changed and I wanted to double check. Okay, yeah. We do not have, oh man, and a second life tap. Love to see it. Uh, we'll see what item we get first, and then we'll cut stuff. Um, ooh, both of these are very good. She has hobble, yeah. I think we're going to take the masquerade mask. Um, the adaptrobes are very good uh, because they do increase the blood burst damage, but I think there are other outfits that are also good. Um, and masquerade, I think is one of the better, tr better accessories. I'm going to cut the Blood Blast because I don't love it. And I think we can do better than Slash pretty quick. Uh, so that's going to go. I don't remember if the Drofa starting deck was my doing or somebody else's. I think it was mine. So uh, if I end up not liking any of the cards here, it's my own fault. I have no one to blame but myself. I'm going to start here because I just like hitting more events, more chances of getting those um, early free upgrades. But, um, yeah. Hobble is going to do good work here. You'll notice that that drops them significantly in damage because we have the mask. We don't actually end up taking any damage here, which is actually not... We, we do kind of want to take damage, but... Get that AoE damage kill. I should have honed first, but it really didn't matter since I was getting the kill anyway. Okay. And I think we're going to get... Yeah, we, we have the kill here. It costs a little bit of health, but it's okay being down on health on Drophus because that just means that um, our healing won't get wasted. Uh, Mighty Punch is pretty good. It does a lot of damage, and we don't have... Um, we don't care about losing shield. Frag Blast is also kind of tempting. Uh, if we wanted to go that route, it opens up some possibilities. Uh, ah, wrong button. What else do we have on the map in our... We are hitting this. We have a chance of picking up Relentless Assault. So that would... So like the multi-hit deck where we're trying to build powerful, that is an option that might be available to us. In which case we'd want to take uh, Frag Blast. Um, this is kind of a tough choice. I think we're going to take Mighty Punch. All right, and we're going to start, actually there's no point in starting with that when we could do that first and then heal that off. We're just going to work on it, whittling down that, take some damage. Hmm. This is a little bit awkward because we can't get this hone out early. So obviously we would have liked to have gotten that hunt out before we um but it's not a big deal because we still get this kill. Uh a second restorative shield I don't actually hate to replace the other mend, so that would just be our two heal cards, our two restorative shields. I like that a decent amount. Scroll of recall is pretty good. Let's see what events we can get. Uh sure. Mighty buff isn't bad. And we get to upgrade a common card. That's nice. Uh, restorative Shield Plus I like a lot. I also really like Focus Plus. I think we will start with Focus Plus and we'll probably upgrade um, one of the Restorative Shields after this fight. Alright. Just trying to think how we hit zero. Yeah, we'll just do this. Boom. 
and then we're going to do that, even though it's slightly inefficient. Get so much damage out of that temporary mighty. Might as well play one of those. I don't think we want to play the other one though. You don't get to keep enough of that shield to justify keep to justify playing it. I think. All right, let's play that first. I think we do want to do that. And yeah, that week was cancelled, but it's fine. Because we actually did want to get hit there. All right. Heal back all the damage we took. And then kill. Yeah, the restorative skills are doing great work. Um, it's kind of hard to pass up mana font. Vampiric Needle is very good, but we have two restorative shields, so that makes it less important than it might be. Uh, again, with these tough choices, Imbued Robe is, I guess it's better than, than having bad choices. Imbued Robe is like plus two damage on our um, Blood Bursts. Doubling Spyglass, we don't have a combo for yet, but it's Doubling Spyglass, we'll find one. Yeah, I think we take the Spyglass. We are upgrading, I think, the Mana Font, because we don't have other card draw yet. And then we could upgrade the Life Tap. But I don't think we want to. I think that we are going to upgrade one of the restorative shields. Because I think that allows us to cut the mend. So the question is, I think we do want to go, because the option is two elites or two uh, events. I think we want to go two elites. Right, this is kind of awkward. I want to do this. But then we get frozen, and I do not want to get frozen, so we're just going to actually have to end a turn here. Because this turn we can get, we can freeze ourselves. May as well get that extra shield. Then it doesn't do anything. Now let's play this. Oh right, we don't actually lose any health. Because we get frozen before we, we would lose the health. It's kind of funny. And convenient for us. Womp. Okay. And yeah, we do get to freeze ourselves. Yeah, this fight is a little bit annoying for us. But... Let's draw cards. Because if we draw the restorative shield, we would love to play it, I think. Yeah, may as well get all that health back and then get the skill. So far, Drofus is just doing Drofus things. Yeah, I think I'll take a Revitalizing Surge. Having a little bit more healing doesn't hurt. I think we may reroll once here. Um, trying to think how we hit zero. Uh, yeah, just do this and that and that. And we'll do that, I guess. And bonk. Evade on this one is annoying, but this helps. So much for your evade. Unfortunately, um, yeah, we don't quite get to get through this one without. Uh, okay, we do actually just want to heal up, I guess, because we are at the kill. Ooh, I think we want the Demonic Greed, actually. It's kind of risky, but I really want the card draw. This is normally good, but not... Oh, this is great. Frost Grimoire is great on Drovas. Um, I don't think I have any cuts I want to make quite yet. We're moving on. We'll probably need to upgrade our mana at some point. So the Demonic Greed is absolutely what we are spyglassing here, because even though it does make us super vulnerable, it draws us a lot of cards. And yeah, which we can then spend on doing this, draw even more cards. Mm. 
let's think. So we'll start by crunching. Got that crit. Heal back. We want to finish off that one before it can uh, cause us more problems. Oh, I should have played uh, this, but somehow I don't think it's going to matter. Oh no, we're vulnerable. Launch. None of this is amazing. We have an extra reroll. I don't hate having a second hobble. I'd probably cut it after this ro this next upcoming fight, but I don't actually hate having it, I guess. Right, so if we explode, I think we... Or if we demonic greed, I think we end up getting hit here, but I think it's worth it. Could have hobbled before. I'm kind of hoping to find um, the hone. Yeah, so that we can have that critical chance for value. Let's go. Pump, pump, pump. Focus. And so this actually lets me conveniently hit zero while healing out all of the damage I've taken. To, or all the damage I've done to myself. Um, and that has a chance to get us a kill. Or no, we get the guaranteed kill there. So we do explode once, which is kind of annoying because it takes away our extra critical and one of our growth and our mana boost. It gets pretty annoying overall, I would say. Uh, we're going to explode again. It's a little unfortunate. Um, because we're going to explode twice here. And we want to get our critical back. And then... Yeah, we don't have a way to get a kill here. We are just going to have to take a little bit of damage beyond our recoverable. Oh, no, because I miscounted how much uh, arcane we were taking. I thought we, we, ha we were taking enough arcane to cause problems, and we were not. So we can do this, which is quite a bit of healing. We have the guaranteed kill. This actually also kills the front one because of the Drophus passive. Uh, we take not enough damage to cause problems. And then we try and draw for healing. Sort of shield does its job. Yup. We're absolutely re-rolling for nature's blessing here. Uh, starting tough is nice. I do like upgrading that because it draws more cards. And if you're upgrading though the focus and the demonic greed, because demonic greed plus is just so many cards. And it has some minor downsides, but, you know, they're minor downsides. Can I afford to cut the hobble? Yeah, I'll be fine. I do want to upgrade the other one later. But I don't think I want to. Um, so we are fighting Emerald. I think... I'm deciding if I want Ice Shards or Shocking Focus more. Against Emerald, the answer is probably that I need the Ice Shards. But we'll see how it goes. It's also possible that the answer is Emerald Dragon just murders us. But I'm sure it won't go that poorly. Ooh, this lets us... I should have considered spy glassing. Okay, and then we can draw more cards. kill with the um, whatever. Alright, and there's the kill. It's turn one, I think. Um, I think we just take the 
We could reroll and get a cornered focus. I kind of like that. I would love to get a vulnerable source because we do have masks still, but um, just really haven't been offered one. Um, this is a really bad card to play into that. I think we are spyglassing the nature's blessing for the card draw. It's always all about the card draw. I could be focusing down this one, but... Uh -huh. Let's play that and then draw. Okay, we're going to play this at some point, but we need space in hand for it. Because we also need space in hand for the stuff that we draw. Okay, there's the critical. And that also means that we get that kill. Okay. And womp womp womp. I don't love that this one gets to set up um, more evasion, but I think we did a pretty good job that turn of doing things and also stuff. So I definitely have been playing around Nature's Blessing as though it was drawing me four cards, which is not doing. Okay. So you're no longer a problem this turn. And you're about to not be a problem. I'm kind of being dead. Oh, I thought I was going to have... I was playing around those focuses for no reason. Uh, I don't want to reroll here. The gather power is pretty bad. Uh, we only had that temporary might, I think. We don't have... Oh, wrong button. Yeah, because we don't have the mighty ruin. That was just a temporary mighty. Uh, poison missile isn't the worst. I'm probably going to cut it, but it does still lose its health, which is actually good. Uh, Arcane Bolt also isn't terrible, but it kind of is, because we don't have uh, access to Vulnerable. Let's go here. Uh, this is... Silga's BRB. Checking my notes again on this event, on how we avoid the, uh, the fights here. I think we run away from the Silga's, but I want to double check. All right, so okay. Let's see. Okay, see you. Still goes through the plane. Option A with outcome B. We go to scene. Okay, so yeah, we do need to rush away from them. All right. And then Wisps surrounding a Golem. Um, and then here, we need to go to White Duck and Hide in the Tall Grass, assuming I have my notes correct. Yes, and now we can upgrade a card and heal. The heal is relevant, but the upgrade card is nice. I would like to draw more cards. Thanks. Sorry for that one taking a while. I am bad at thinking. Uh, Vindictive Aura, you just take on Drophus. Just makes things smoother. I should be prioritizing a Natha to get that, uh, to get the bleed, to get Mighty Rage, or Bloody Rage, whatever the card is called. Right, this is a pretty bad turn one. But, you know. Not the worst. We are probably going to get to freeze this turn. Yeah, I'm absolutely going to Spyglass this Nature's Blessing. Should have done that first. Oh wait, I yeah, I've already got critical up. So we get to freeze with our frost grimoire. Which I should have done first because we get bonus damage against frozen things. Have I messed up my ability to hit zero mana? 
Answer, yes. It's fine. We can do this, and then that. And it's all good. Seems like a decent way to end the turn. But yeah, we now get health every time we play one of those. And we can also just get really lucky on our crits. Ooh, Sanctuary. Hmm. We don't really need it, but it's hard to pass up because it's very good. Um, Absorb Soul is kind of fun, but I don't think we need it either. I think we just take the Sanctuary and plan to cut it later, probably. I think Life Tap Plus makes sense at this point. Um, I think we have the the Vindictive Armies that we can support it, I think. There's a lot more mana, and we are drawing a lot of cards on good turns. Uh, create a billion treasures. All right. Think. Womp. Womp. Draw cards. Draw cards. Attempt to actually draw some cards. Um, I can do this first so I can get this freeze out because, yeah, the Frost Grimoire uh, gives 20% extra damage against frozen targets. Like so. Oh, there's critical. Alright. And go bonk, bonk, bonk. And continue bonking. And I think that's it for turn. More critical chance. More self vulnerable. It's fine. Definitely taking ice shards because it'll do great work for us. Yeah, we aren't quite going to kill here, but we get real close. And we absolutely do not care about um, these incoming hits. Especially because they're not actually going to be incoming once we get done playing out our cards and freezing. Back all of it from two from the Vindicative Aura, one from the Forge, and the Forge would have healed all of it anyway. Ooh, uh, Blood Tide's good, but I think we just want the Chimera form. We just want the the, the Source of Mighty. Uh, Infinite Wand is fine, but Grim Infinite Grimoire or Infinite Frost Grimoire is better. Cleansing Pearl could help in the Emerald Dragon fight specifically. Normally, I wouldn't take it. Uh, I think that th this does mean though that we don't need the Sanctuary. I don't think we need to upgrade this. I think we're cycling our deck fast enough. I think we want to upgrade... Hmm. I think we upgrade the Restorative Shield and then the Life Tap. And then I think we cut... It's either the Sanctuary or the uh, Poisoned Missile, but I think the Sanctuary... because. I don't think we care about the shield. I don't think we care that much about the cleanse either right now, although that could end up being proving to be a mistake. I think we are so far on track to win fast enough to not need it. Now we get to guarantee ice shards. This is a fight that in theory could go poorly for us, but it just feels like we have so much going for us that it's unlikely that anything could. And you know, hubris has never killed anyone, right?
There's critical hit chance, which is nice. May as well heal back all the damage we've taken. And... Decent turn one. Uh, we already have all of our buffs, that, so we don't really need to play that. This has a chance of just killing out, right? Yep. Just play that. I don't know that we're going to need it, but... Just need to find, yeah, any way to deal damage. Sorry, any way to get a... I mean, any way to deal damage, but like any way to get a blood burst. Uh, yeah, we're absolutely going to take this Ice Shards. Because it's going to do amazing work for us. Oh, and we're going to get a uh, Dragon Form here. From the boss, so... Yeah. I would describe this run as doing well. I could have sequenced that a little, little bit better to get back that one more health, but... Yeah, very deep into it does not matter land. Spyglass going to keep being Spyglass. And the fact that um, our mana cards do so much work for us uh, means that we can just, especially with the fact that we have, uh, again, that Frost Grimoire, which you can now see why I took it with what I had. Because uh, it is doing good work. Goodbye. There we go. Um, none of these cards do anything for me. Do I reroll and take another cornered focus? You know, I don't hate that. Yeah, I'll reroll and take another cornered focus. Frost Dagger is also tempting, but we are on Drophus, which means that I think this is more valuable, especially because, uh, yeah, we are actually freezing things. Take that. Is there anything this fight could give us? That we, yeah, we would love to have Mystic Ritual, I think. We won't reroll for it, but we'll take it if we get it. We are going to Spyglass that. All right, we have to deal with this Drook first. Fortunately, this Dirk is not going to get a chance to um, set up Plated, even if it survives this turn. Which, you know, it might. Yeah, especially with Just kidding. I think we may actually be able to find a way out. Okay. This is going to kill, to not quite kill, but get very, very close. If we can find another, yeah, if we find, when we draw that other life tap, it's going to kill this. Let's heal first. Is it going to kill both of them? Or no, it's just going to almost kill both of them. There we go. Full health. Uh, and hey, we got the Mystic Ritual. Which is going to explode us a couple times, but... You know what I call an Arcane Detonation? That's right. An arcane Detonation. That's just a fancy way of saying... Um, uh, blood Burst. I'm actually probably might upgrade the Mystic Ritual because I am an absolute mad lad. Do that. Although in this case, we've got that, so we're going to use it. Okay, we are going to have to spike last this Nature's Blessing. I'm not too worried about incoming damage here because this thing is absolutely getting frozen this turn. Got all our buffs, so let's just do some damage.
And we can get that shock damage out. And we can play Demonic Reed. To draw some cards. <laughs> okay. Um, should we stop now? I think we stop now. Yeah, I think we save that mana for next turn. And the treasure. Yeah, you need the right deck to be able to play Demonic Greed, but if you can... Oh no! Uh, this is 9 damage base, this is 10 damage, so that's slightly better. In terms of how much value we actually get from the shock itself. takes us to exactly the zero mana, which turns on the focus. It actually takes away one of the, because it did zero damage, it actually takes away one of the plated stacks, which is nice. And we can draw some more cards. Life tap being free is incredibly valuable to us. Or life tap being a way to get damage that doesn't get affected by fatigue is pretty dang good. Oh, I, I wasted that shock. Oh, well. I'd be concerned, except, uh, yeah. Alright, we ended with four shock, but it didn't matter. That was a two-turn fight. Absolutely going to take dragon form, going to upgrade dragon form. We can afford it. Uh, this seems better than this, because we have a way to get tough in our deck. Dragon form is absolutely one of our upgrades. Ice shards might be the other one. Um, or it may just be another life tap, up, life tap upgrade, or it may be Mystic Ritual. We're going to upgrade life tap. I think we're going to cut the Mighty Punch because it costs us... Once it gets expensive, it's not worth it, basically. Okay, we are fighting Maw, which is going to be not that important because we're going to freeze it out. We will take Clear Focus here, probably. Uh, Hunter's Focus is the only card here that we care about. But Hunter's Focus is very, very good, so we will reroll for it. Oh, and this is an even better uh, Spy Glass target. All right, we get mana back, so I cannot quite do that. Oh, do some shock. More card draw. Um, I need to get space in hand. Okay. Gonna kill you because we have so much powerful. Have I mentioned in this video that Drophus is good? Because uh, Drophus is good. Dragon form is good. Hunter's Focus may have actually been worse than Blood Tap there, but it's pretty close. Uh, I can also find something. Okay, cool. Love the upgrade. Um, Hunter's Focus Plus is pretty good. Mystic Ritual Plus is a little, probably more ritual, more risk than I need to take, but it is still very tempting. I'm going to upgrade the Hunter's Focus. We can cut the Predict at some point. Actually, we may need to upgrade Mystic Ritual just because we, like, are running out of, um, yeah, I should have possibly saved that for the dragon form, but I was worried that, um, if Mystic Ritual didn't draw, then our turn gets a lot worse, so, make space in hand, and then go, donk, 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 so our one downside here is that this one in the back is going to be, um, we can't freeze it, because of the purity, and we don't have other good ways to get rid of that purity on it. Did we cut the hobble yet? I don't think we actually did. I thought about it, but I didn't yet. Go ahead and do that. Oh, right, we have this to get rid of the Mystic Ritual. Uh, that makes me even more willing to upgrade Mystic Ritual, because like then we're only definitely taking one explosion from it.
Chimeraform. Uh, Hobble does get rid of one of those purity stacks, but I don't think that matters enough. Oh, but this would get rid of the other one. In that case, Hobble to put the other purity stack out. And now we can freeze that back one. Let's see. Bite. Uh, yeah, let's just nature's blessing. And I kind of like just trying to dumpster you because we are totally fine with getting a shrivel. That's just value. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. We're like, just kind of some awkward hands where we just don't draw any, um, anything to do with, um, stuff. All right. Okay, we do get to gain more powerful. All right, this jerk is still alive. Uh, let's shock you. And then... Yeah. Alright. Uh, there we go. And... Seems like a good turn. Kind of a slower fight overall, but... Absolutely fine exploding. Because we can immediately get our buffs back. And if we hadn't, we don't really need the buffs. Go ahead and heal back and get the kill. Yeah, I think we take clear focus. I think we cut the predict. Uh, this is obviously useless to us. This might actually be better than the cleansing pearl because it draws us um, an extra card on turn one. Which is actually relevant. And we are definitely taking um, Corrupted Font, I think. Although, we could probably sustain Ruinous Gamble at this point. Hmm. Can we get to zero? I don't think we can get to zero. That's unfortunate. But we will get a lot of um, blood bursts here, because we're going to take six hits. So we'll be able to just blood burst out all of our problems. Start with this. For the frost rune. We do need to make sure we heal enough that we don't lose health. We don't lose health outright, rather. easy enough to accomplish. And we still do not have our dragon form yet. That's very nice. That's all our health back. You're going to die. <laughs> and then, yeah, we just do that, and that, and we go. Um, I think we just take the poisoned missile. Uh, or we, re no, we re-roll and we take another Hunter's Focus. No, okay, Ritual of Blood, we will take over Hunter's Focus. Plus this. Right, I do want to get a shock out before we play that. Getting 
critical. And bonk. Oh, I should have played this first. I just didn't want to waste it on um, that shock, but I can put it there. There we go. Mystic Ritual. Scroll of Recall. Hunter's Focus. Now they're both frozen. And now, Blood Burst Plus. Okay, cool. We did roll the uh, kill there. Uh, sure. It's expensive, but it got us the kill. Let's upgrade. Well, let's buy. I think we're going to spend our other reroll here. Take Hunger and Focus. Because it's a mana card that does things. And then we are cutting. It might be the Hobble. I don't think we need it at this point. Yeah, Hobble can go. Because our enemies should be frozen for the bulk of the time. I think we take whatever we get here so that we can take Dig Through to Muck here. Because uh, we, we know we're getting a reroll from this because we're in quick play still. And we can cleanse off one of those, even though it doesn't really matter. Ooh. Um, all right, I've... The thing about ADHD is that I don't have object permanence, so if a card isn't in my hand, it may as well not exist. I will blame everything on my ADHD, because uh, it sounds better than admitting that I'm just very bad at video games. Especially since like I have a YouTube channel where the only thing I do is play one game. You would think I could play that game well, but here we are. Right, there's the ice shards I was looking for. You frozen? Just go ahead and scroll the recall. Even more mana. And we can ritual for a decent amount here. They're both frozen. We are at how much fatigue at this point? Four? That's fine. Totally fine. Yeah, the, the new fatigue system where now that we have drawn this many cards, we are up to getting a fatigue every three is part of why is why it's scaling up so hard. We're having such problems actually, uh, say problems. Why in theory, we should be struggling to actually get cards out. That'll do for this turn. Let's do that as well. Uh, this is probably actually lethal. Yep, and we end at full health on turn two. Haha, ha, Drophus goes brrrr. And I think we actually packed of blood. I think the extra turn is more valuable even than the Ruinous Gamble. Because uh, new turn means resetting. Uh, not one thing. And I think we actually take this over the Druidic Cloak because we do have Mighty. Although, I should have cut the Masquerade Mask because we, nope, we're probably not going to have any ways to get vulnerable, it looks like. But, okay, so we are upgrading the Mystic Ritual. I want the ability to draw eight. Uh, I may upgrade the Ritual of Blood because that just gives us additional hits, which is very, very nice. Ice Charge Plus is nice. Yeah, I think it's the Ritual of Blood. And then we're cutting um, probably the Poison Missile. I know it's a spell, and I know that it loses us health, but I think it's still our weakest card. We're going to go here. And we're going to get Dig Through Muck. Oh, man. <laughs> we can spike last death. Extra turns. They're delicious. 
And start with that. Although that doesn't mean we're kind of stuck playing that so we can have space in hand in case we had drawn the maximum number. We didn't, but you know, in case we had. Start working on phasing you. Dragon form. Yeah, the nice thing here is that we are absolutely in a great position because um, we've got two more turns after this one. So if we don't get lethal this turn, we don't actually care. And they're all already frozen, and we have two more turns after this one. Thank you for all the treasures. Oh, hey, now we're mighty. And critical. I love that for us going into another turn. Let's see if we can find another... Um, We can find another uh, blood whatever. Oh, I actually like doing this here. So the ritual blood will kill this front one. And sure. Yeah, let's just do that. End the turn. And then it's our turn. Yeah, um, my I, I recorded a video of going infinite with Trophus, and one day had already announced before I made that video that uh, Packet of Blood was probably getting nerfed, but I like to think that the fact that I was able to demonstrate going infinite with it helped. Of course, nobody had to demonstrate the Lust for Blood infinite before uh, that got nerfed, so I would expect a frenzied rage nerf to come in at some point because several people have posted videos of being able to go infinite with that. Yeah, more powerful, sure. Yeah, my problem with this Mystic Ritual so far has just been, you know, let's go ahead and heal up, because we can't, and bonk. There's just no room in hand. That is the downside to dig through muck as well, potentially, if, uh, if we just don't have any room in hand for it. But I think it's still worth it. Additional crit chance is nice. And who cares about damage taken by attacks when we probably aren't getting attacked. All right. I would love to have another card draw trinket. Uh, the scroll is nice, but it isn't perfect. But, you know, as these things go, that's pretty low priority. I think we should have enough card draw from this that I don't need to worry about spyglassing it. And we do have enough other good spyglass targets. Yeah, because we drew this. And that will serve my purposes. Let's work on freezing things. Bonk. I need space. Oh no, I have enough space in hand for this one. I think, I think I spyglass the Pact of Blood. I don't think we're gonna need. Oh, oops! I forgot about the blood burst coming in first. Oh well, I don't think we're gonna need it anyway. I think one extra turn should be enough. Let's see. Do that into that. No, can't draw. Hand limit reach. Alas, these treasures taking up all my space, all my hand space. So yeah, one enemy left that is not. Oh, I can't afford Mystic Ritual though while I have that frenzy up because that does cost me the frenzy. So that is a slight downside. Let's take that back one. For completeness' sake. Sure, more powerful going into next one. And sure, going to do that just because, even though I'm not planning to play anything else. It's a bit of an awkward next turn. Wow, just maximum punish here for the um, failure to Messing up the, uh... oh no, never mind, everything's fine. Just kidding. No punishment. 
Uh, if this wasn't this fight, though, I would have been punished there for not having... Well, if it wasn't this fight, I wouldn't have been punished for the uh, Pact of Blood thing because uh, we wouldn't have our hand flooded with treasures. Never mind. Everything's fine. I am playing with perfect skill, and nothing is my fault. That's the point. All right. I would love to draw another of the um, yeah, life taps to kill this front one. Let's see what we get with this. I think we probably copy. Uh, oh, we don't need to copy anything. Everything's dead. Guess we take. Well, we've got two re rolls since the last fight. Let's re roll and see what we get. Yeah, turn to going seems fine. Uh, none of that matters. We've got a re roll. Let's go ahead and spend it. None of that matters. Uh, certainly not relative to what we already have. We're just going to discard and keep moving. So we get here. Upgrade a skill. No, screw it. Even though we're not, we're never gonna have space at hand for this. We're gonna upgrade uh, Dig Through Muck anyway. Um, max mana. Do I have anything I can remove? I could upgrade, remove the turn to gunk, but I don't want to. I probably don't need both restorative shields at this point. Yeah, yeah. Since I have the combination of the other healing and the uh, ability to freeze the enemies, and the fact that I have. Uh, this is kind of hilarious. Because we don't have any weak or vulnerable. Oh, no, but we could get vulnerable off of um, Dig Through Mox, so I don't actually want that. And the shield doesn't do anything for me. Anyway, so the thought was, like, I have enough healing, especially with the Vindictive Aura, that I shouldn't need the restorative shield. I'm going to keep one of them just to be safe. But, yeah, I think I'm too lazy to cut other things, because that takes thinking. All right, I was trying to figure out, like, I thought I had taken a second, um, who's my what? A second, uh, copy of Hunter's Focus, but I remember that I took the Ritual of Blood instead. All right, so final fight. I'd say this is going well. I think we have a very good chance of winning this run. And we started with an amazing opening turn. Pact of Blood or Dragon Form? I think Pact of Blood is the safer pick. Let's get that extra turn out. Yeah, it's a pretty unfortunate series of draws. But somehow I think we'll be fine. I may end up turning one of uh, these to gunk, or I may not. We will see. Let's go bonk, bonk, bonk. You know what? I don't need that. Oh, there's that. We have enough room in our hand to actually play that. Ooh. We got an upgrade. And that vulnerable. I need to decide what I'm spending that upgrade on. Once again, this Mystic Ritual is awkward in this specific context. Uh, let's upgrade the Hunger and Focus. I mean, but also, we don't need it this turn, so... I don't feel too bad about not being able to use it. I feel way worse if, like, we were out of cards in hand. But we are pretty far from that. Uh, yeah, we don't need that this turn. We are on our that's right, we are on our first of those turns. So we don't have Hone for next turn lined up yet. Let's go ahead and do this. And then Ritual of Blood.
Then we just play that and then into the turn because it's our turn now. Okay, it's both of our massive hand consuming cards. Uh, I want to play. We're going to transform this into gunk. Also, this thing is buried under just a mountain of ice, so even if we were to, um, even if we were to, okay, so I was going to use this to prevent this, um, actually, yeah, I'm fine doing that there, I think. <laughs> we're not even going to take health damage from this. Purity blocked the um, fun. Exactly as planned. And we can even end at full health, I think, by doing this. Boom. And that is a Drophus Quick Play run. So, the lesson here is that Drophus is good. So, the Restorative Shield was obviously the key point in the early game to just give us all of that shield that we needed. And then from there, the fact that Restorative Shield allowed us to start upgrading life taps uh, really was kind of the engine that fueled the rest of the run. Uh, Drovis is pretty good with just... Oh, and the other thing is the Frost Grimoire. Uh, and then the Frost Grimoire was able to give us some early freezing. And then between that and then if there is a Frost Gorgon on the map, you can guarantee you will get that. You will get the card from it as long as you have at least one of your rerolls. And in quick play, you very likely will. So that uh, Ice Shards basically locked everything up for us. Uh, even And even with that in, in mind, a lot of fights we were winning before things were able to even take a turn. So that was just mostly the benefit of card draw, Spyglass doing Spyglass things. Um, I think we probably would have won without any one of these pieces because Rufus is good, but you know, you take all the best pieces so that if any one of them fails you, you can still win. That was the run. See you guys next time. Uh, if you have any suggestions for runs you want to see, absolutely let me know in the comments. Otherwise I'm just going to keep recording whatever random nonsense I feel like recording. Uh, anyway, yeah. See you guys next time. Toodles.